when I first came across her, um, this thing, this thing kind of started in me that I've just got to get her out there. So the first thing I wrote was um, this uh, ballad just as um, an introduction to her. Um, when I think about her, you know, I think about her as one of life's um, beautiful people. You know, she kind of embraced uh, everyone. I call her the, the uh, patron saint of her uh, inclusion. And she just wanted to bring everyone within her uh, embrace. And when you come across someone like that, especially someone who's been somewhat uh, disregarded, you do, you just feel this, this, this need just to kind of expose uh, the beauty of this uh, person to everyone. So I wrote the ballad and we're very lucky to have the great sister to um, read it for us. People, you are gonna uh, enjoy this. Bill and I have already had a taste of this reading. So, uh, so we know what a great thing you have um, uh, ahead of you, but yeah. We're very happy to have her sister um, Angela give the inaugural reading of this ballad. Thank you. Ballad of Sadie Delaney by Natty Mark Samuels. Dedication to the Sadie Peterson Delaney African Roots Library. In the city where Mr. Freedom lived and the North Star resided, there was born a girl who unshackled the minds of many from the darkness of illiteracy. Where the Seneca lived and the Genesee flows and the Underground Railroad passed by. Where the mills once turned before the factories came with the advent of cameras and lenses. The city by Lake Ontario of Harriet Tubman and the dreamers there was born a girl who brought healing to the sufferers, broken in body and mind. On the 26th of February, I shall stand and salute the one known as Sadie the Lady. Do you feel proud, Rochester, that the healer was born in your city? Is there a plaque, a library, a hospital wing named after her? You have celebrated Mr. Freedom with a statue in a local park, but what of her? She also possessed the golden key that unlocked the rusting chain. Blessed were those who came under her care, the young offender, the visually impaired, youthful immigrant and veteran soldier. Let her birthday be a day of caring throughout the city of her birth. On the 26th of February, I shall stand and salute the one known as Sadie Delaney. Were you ever invited back, my heroine, to your high school in Poughkeepsie? When the world came knocking at your door, did the principal extend an invitation? Were books a major part of your life then? Contentment amongst the tomes. Did you read Paul Dunbar? Did you know of Meta Fuller? Was literature central to your younger days? I will have to dig in further, happily researching, exploring your time by the Hudson, your favorite classes and teacher, and the projects and clubs you took part in. On the 26th of February, I shall stand and salute the one known as Sadie Delaney. I imagine her in a church called Zion, reciting her poetry, encouraging the younger ones to write. The popular Sabbath school teacher, the bolsterer of everyone, champion of her congregation, ambassador for the youth. Where the cottage and Smith streets meet, the old ones take her arm. I imagine her where the African Methodists gather lauded by the elders, role model to the youngsters, an African princess in Dutchess County. On the 26th of February, I shall stand and salute the one known as Sadie Delaney. I wonder if Hubert Harrison was teaching there when she graduated from New York City College. Was the man known as the Black Socrates blessing that institution then with every step taken through the corridors? 
I know she worked alongside the St. Croix icon in her time of professional provision. But did she hear him in a lecture room or speak on the street in the time before graduation? In 1919, the year of the Red Summer and the Claude McKay poem, she was soon to begin training that would lead the way to the healing. On the 26th of February, I shall stand and salute the one known as Sadie Delaney. So many things come to mind, thinking of the library where she trained, especially the 135th Street branch, a place of, of trailblazers and titans, a venue of beautiful legacy. Two years of training in the profession of her destiny at the New York Public Library. The healer learning of medicine, stepping stones to future mountains. Although the decision was hers, I believe inspiration came from elsewhere at a higher force planted the seed. Blessed with patience and the zeal to share, on the 26th of February, I shall stand and salute the one known as Sadie Delaney. When I think of the 135th branch, I always smile, thinking and silently celebrating the other pioneering librarians, Catherine Latimer, Roberta Bosley, and Regina Andrews. I think of Langston Hughes and Augusta Savage, Arturo Schomburg and County Cullen, James Weldon Johnson and Jesse Fawcett, W.E.B. Du Bois and Charles Alston, and always Hubert Harrison. Of the Krigwa players and the NAACP, art workshops and the HAEC, poetry readings and lecture series, art exhibitions and literacy classes, a spotlight on the Harlem Renaissance. On the 26th of February, I shall stand and salute the one known as Sadie Delaney. Tell me of dedication. Tell me of the one who learned braille and moon code also in her need to reach everyone she learned the text of the visually impaired. She reached out to all, the youth known to the local police, teenage migrants in, the, in a strange land, to the community elders also in the encouragement of the young. I imagine them gathering round her in the Harlem library as they did in the Poughkeepsie church. Time for story hour, the hour of awaited on the 26th of February, I shall stand and salute the one known as Sadie Delaney. On the 26th of February, I shall stand and salute the one known as Sadie Delaney. But how many were there on his return? Another tangled mind raging between reality and dream, languishing on a rehab bed, and the one in the next bed, also back from a front line far away, shadow of a former physique, crying into his pillow, tearful of artificial limbs. So my heroine took her time with each and every one. What began as a six month posting became a passion of 30 years, the soldiers sang a refrain of gratitude. On the 26th of February, I shall stand and salute the one known as Sadie Delaney. The loss to the youth of Harlem was gain to the soldiers in Tuskegee, combatants in the Veterans Hospital, because life got a lift when she began to walk the wards, because she took her time, because she got to know them he could suggest textual remedy. When faith in God was else, elsewhere, they believed in bibliotherapy. For this, she has my deepest respects, for the decades of solace she offered, through the selective choosing of books. In consultation with the doctors, he prescribed sagas 
or sail away time. On the 26th of February, I shall stand and salute the one known as Sadie Delaney. I heard she instigated a cart library for those who were, who were bedridden, green text also for those who could not hold books. Let us speak of the patron saint of inclusion. She tidied and warmed up the library with color on the wall and in vases, a place of welcome for the ones that were mobile, another place to be. A woman of two libraries, one for the veterans, the other for the medical staff. She acquired for both of them, widening their circulation. On the 26th of February, I shall stand and salute the one known as Sadie Delaney. There were discussions of books and the reading of poetry. She taught braille to those who needed it. The singing of songs, the lullaby of stories. Through her boosting, they exhibited their art, gave talks to the general public. They believed in what she was doing and the soldiers appareled in stress. As well as the unknown warrior, let us remember the forgotten librarian. In the time to heal, I would have liked her at my morning bedside. Solid assurance for another day. On the 26th of February, I shall stand and salute the one known as Sadie Delaney. Isn't it good to know she was respected far and wide? Academics and students alike came to spend time with an oracle, a source of wisdom offering daily access. That is what she must have possessed, wisdom. You cannot work with the shattered and the torn for all those years and not be a gatherer of the purest gold. Let me pay homage where it is due. I know the Black Panther tank units must honor her, as must the Tuskegee Airmen and the Harlem Hellfighters also. I know that they'll stand and salute her too. On the 26th of February, I shall stand and salute the one known as Sadie Delaney. Bless you. Hey, beautiful.